How we doing tech team? Jeff Brandon here and it's 2019, well underway and it's time to get at it. Now I know I've been on quite the hiatus. I haven't made videos in over a year and that's a little bit shameful. So moment of silence, I'm gonna hang my head in sorrow. All right, bygones. Hey, we can sit here and worry about what we didn't get accomplished in 2018, or we can get on the ball, get things moving, and have a rocking 2019, and that's what I plan on doing, and I suggest you do the same. These years go by faster and faster for me every single year, and it seems like I can barely keep up with the time. That may just be a testament of what we're doing and what we got going on in our lives, but either way, we know we don't have time to waste. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first video. Today we're going to be talking about a product that's useful for all of us or most of us these days as most phones are outfitted with wireless charging. And I've had a couple of issues with some wireless chargers and hit or miss. Um, there's some really good companies out there that are making good products and then there's the, the inverse and there's some really bad products out there that really don't get the job done. So this product in particular, the Chiotech 10 watt wireless fast charger claims to be able to take care of our wireless charging needs and do it quickly. So, lots of companies have claimed that. Let's see if this one is up to the test. Just a little insight, I already own this and I know it's good and that's why I'm reviewing it, but I wanna tell you what's good about it and what makes it better than some of the other ones in the market. That said, we're gonna do a really quick unboxing, see what's in the box and then we're gonna to get to it. All right, as we take a look at what's in the box, you can see it's pretty simple. You have the actual wireless charging puck. They do include a cable, that's good. A few manuals, certificates, authenticity, um, nothing too special there. So, let me tell you what I really love about this. One, the weight. Um, this is not a cheap piece of plastic. It is zinc alloy. And to me, the fit and finish is excellent. Now this is coming in right around that $20 point. And let me tell you, man, this looks good. It feels good. This particular model, I chose the uh, gray colorway. They also come in a black colorway with this matte up top, which has a nice grippy slip resistant surface. It can be black as well. But what I really love most of all is this, this metal. Um, and it, you can see it on the bottom where there, there's also a nice rubber pad here that will keep that from sliding around on your desk. But on any desk surface, I mean, come on, that looks great. It's got the just small uh, Chiotech embosement right there. But that, that's one of the things I really like about it. One, it's got enough weight to hold itself in place. And two, it's quality it looks quality it feels quality it does not feel cheap and plasticky so that's just the aesthetics of it we still have to talk about what the product does and again this is just a standard cable not USB-C but again that's not necessary it would only drive the cost up unnecessarily so you may or may not need that but one thing you got to keep in mind is you will need a charging brick for this and you definitely need one that can put out, you know, the right amount of wattage so you can charge and utilize the fast charge feature. So this is about a $19 product. Um, by the time you add the fast charging brick, you could spend as much as another $13 to $15 as they are priced right now on Amazon and other, other places. But that's still not a bad deal. Now here we can see I brought in the one I told you I bought previously, and this was the black version. You can see it has this uh, gunmetal or, or space gray anodized or zinc alloy type aluminum around the outside versus this one has the silver. 
I think both of them look great. Um, it's really just a matter of what you like for your setup or what, what you want um, on your desk, but I don't think you can go wrong with, with either. So let's get to what I really like about this besides the weight and the quality and the build. One of the biggest problems I have with some of these chargers is they always have some kind of access light or charging light. And I usually use this at night in my bedroom and what'll happen, that particular light will be an annoyance, a nuisance. It'll keep you up at night, you wind up having to put tape on it and all kinds of things that look unsightly. But let me show you as I bring my iPhone in on this, how this lights up. One, gives you a notification bell that is lighting up and you can kind of see around the outsides, you got a subtle glowing ring, which I think looks fantastic. And it's telling you that it's charging the device. What I like even more about that, it flashes and it does light up, which would normally be an annoyance, but they were smart enough to, after a minute or two, it goes away, completely black. And that's a beautiful thing because now you can sleep in peace and your phone charges and it doesn't intermittently start lighting back up again when the phone gets charged or any kind of power state change happens. Once it's on there and it realizes it's charging and it establishes that charge, it goes away and that's it until you lift the phone off of the charger and put it back down. So that's something that is well thought out um, on top of having a quality built device. These things are just beautiful. I think this is one of the best for your money in terms of finish and fit and usability. So as a wrap up today, we looked at the Chiotech 10 watt wireless fast charger, um, both the black and the gray, really good choices. I don't think you could miss on either. They're just beautiful products, um, almost looked like coasters. I prefer these round versions over some of the square things that I've seen. Um, I've owned a lot of these in the past from Samsung and different ones even claiming they do fast charge or have fast charge capabilities. But at the end of the day, I really want a good price for something that's quality, feels quality, looks quality, but most importantly, does what it's supposed to do. And these two fit the bill. I'll leave links in the description um, so you can go and check out uh, on Amazon the price. And I think they're still around $19.99. So I think that's a fantastic price for what you're getting. Anyway, thanks again for tuning in. I certainly appreciate you hanging in there and waiting for me to get some more content out. I promise I will not delay this year. I'm gonna try to be as productive as possible. We're gonna take a look at everything tech, bring in everything new that we can get in the studio and take a look at it and uh, just see what's out there and what's coming. CES is going on. I know a lot of good tech is gonna come from that. Let's just wait and see. But uh, happy new year to you. Have a great and prosperous year. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can see what I got coming out next.